shops around that were easy to walk to. I found um, this one in, in Times Square. I think it was called 10,000 10, Coffee Shop or something. Um, it's really not for sitting for a long time, honestly. Like, they barely had any tables, and the chairs were, like, super tiny and uncomfortable. You can see how tiny that little chair is. Um, but I had no option. I, I needed to log on and start working. Um, but when I tell you this coffee had me wired, I think that this coffee was, um, Swedish or German or something like that. Um, and I had some crazy anxiety <laughs> after, after that coffee. Um, and then during my lunch break, I went to Sephora and go ahead and go to my TikTok to see what I was looking at. Um, I did a little ASMR in public. It's for a video on my TikTok. Then I got Chinese food, as you naturally do when you're in New York. Um, I got Sichuan eggplant, Sichuan eggplant with tofu, and I got fried rice with it. And then I got an egg drop soup. It was like the best deal that I got <laughs> this whole entire trip. It was like 12 bucks. And then I got charged like a couple extra dollars just for the tofu, and they give you such a huge portion size. So I was very happy with my uh, solo Chinese lunch that day. And um, afterwards, I had to go back to the hotel to finish up working. Honestly, guys, I am so sorry if this vlog is um, less exciting than you had anticipated, because honestly, a ton of this vlog is me just walking and doing traveling on the subway. Like, I didn't even have that much time to really, really explore, but there are a bunch of, you know, pretty shots of the city, or at least I tried to get some, but um, I'm meeting my friend, actually, to go hang out because I have a couple friends in New York City, and I had some time to go meet her to go window shopping because she lives in the city. So, um, we wanted to go to Soho because I haven't been to Soho in forever, and I just wanted to do um, some shopping, you know, in stores that I don't have access to. Um, just stopped in Uniqlo while I was waiting for her. I usually really like Uniqlo, but I, I just didn't really need anything. Um, but this is great um, for like work clothes or casual, um, you know, athleisure. Just good quality clothing for, you know, a smaller, or not smaller, for a cheaper price. Um, we went to Diptyque. which has really nice luxury fragrances. Then we stopped in a clean beauty store. They had a bunch of like clean, vegan, cruelty-free brands. There goes my AC. I'm going to actually lose my mind. I cannot stand the sound of AC in my audio, but anyways. Um, they had also clean perfume and fragrances as well, which was really fun to look at. We love, love smelling candles and perfumes. We're like heavy fragrance people, so... We were having fun doing that, and then we got a Korean, Korean, Korean barbecue afterwards. And there's my friend, and we were um, putting some pork, pork cheek, and chicken on the grill. And then we also had beef bulgogi. Um, there's our big ass <laughs> Sapporo picture that we finished together. And then this is my last day, actually. I am so sorry. I forgot to film my bacon, egg, and cheese and coffee that I got that morning, but honestly, it wasn't even worth it. Um, the bacon, egg, and cheese was extremely underwhelming because I went to a chain. There was nothing else around me. The coffee shop I went to had no local bagel, bagel shops around it, so I was a little disappointed, but I mean, it was still good, just not like New York City bacon, egg, and cheese, you know, standards or to my standards, you know. But I'm just walking through the, through the subway, um, and I finished a lot of my work at the hotel. My work day um, was, I mean, pretty busy. 
Thank you.